Helen Yee here with Eyes on the Game. I'm here at the Fighters Only World MMA Awards being joined by the always exciting fighter to watch, Justin Gaethje. Now, uh, first off, congratulations. You're being nominated for two awards. How do you feel? It feels great, um, especially since I haven't even been here a year. Uh, you know, this, this weekend will actually mark one year since uh, my first anniversary fight in the UFC so uh, you know time flies it's it's gone by so fast and I'm, I'm having such a great time um, fighting at the, the top echelon of this sport and has this experience been everything that you thought it would be so far here in the UFC yeah absolutely uh, fighting in front of 18,000 people on a pay-per-view um, you know headlining my next fight will be my third out of four fights that I've headlined so yeah that's this is something uh, you know win or lose it doesn't matter I'm here to create memories and you know I try my hardest I prepare my best and um, one day I'll be happy to show my kids the things that I've done now speaking of your next fight um, I know there's been a lot of talk this week and change of opponent you were supposed to fight Al I Quinta and then now James Vick stepped in so can you kind of talk about like just the whirlwind that kind of went down yeah I mean it, this that is what this is I mean that you have to be prepared um, it's not the worst thing that's ever happened to me in this sport one time uh, a guy actually made weight and the day of the fight he pulled out so that's at least I get to fight you know I get to show up uh, people were buying tickets to watch me fight August 25th no matter what um, and James Vick now gets to fight a headline a headline an event um, in the UFC and that's uh, thank, thankful to me so I'm excited to beat this guy up yeah so what do you think of James though and his style compared to yours yeah, um, you know he's this is the UFC and you're not signed by the UFC if you're not one of the best fighters in the world um, my hat's off to what he's done. He's 9-1 in the UFC. He's never fought, uh, you know, I fought Michael Johnson and Eddie Alvarez and then Dustin Poirier. He has never fought anybody of that caliber. So I'm excited to get in there and show him that he does not belong at the top of this game. And I know there were, you know, some exchanges between you and Al, though, before or right after he kind of pulled out of the fight. Because Was it because of an undisclosed injury? Uh, you know, I don't know. I can't know he that. He never really told me. No, he would never tell me. Um, I, I'm pretty sure it was, I, you know, he said he was on the Ariel Hawani show yesterday saying that he had an injury uh, from previous, you know, before the Khabib fight. So that's why uh, he wasn't fighting. I don't know. You know, I, uh, I, I concentrate on myself. I would have, if I was there thinking about why he was or was not fighting me, then, then that's just giving him, you know, power. And yeah. I'm not even fighting that guy, so it doesn't matter. And now you are focused, like you said, on James Vig. Now, lastly, so much going on in the lightweight division, one of the most stacked divisions uh, in the UFC. But, you know, with Habib and Conor McGregor, uh, do you think he will be back this year and to fight Habib for uh, that title? Uh, I mean... Who knows? Nobody knows what's going on with that guy in this sport. Um, I don't think even the top guys at the UFC know, but I do think, um, yeah, he loves fighting. I know that. Uh, those Irish dudes love fuck, love throwing, throwing, throwing fists. So I think uh, he'll be back this year if I can be. Who do you think would win that? <laughs> I don't know, man. It's hard to be confident, and he's the most confident guy on planet Earth. So um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how he would stop. Khabib from taking him down and eventually getting him to where he wants to fight. I would probably see Khabib winning, but his left hand is phenomenal and you cannot take anything away from that thing. 